Hi, welcome back. I am Matsya from DMA. Today, I want to talk about how much time you should spend daily on practicing the piano. This is a question that a lot of my students are asking me, you know, daily, basically. How much time I should, I should spend daily practicing? I'm practicing a lot and I'm not getting a result and stuff like that. So I decided to record a video about that. So today we're going to talk how much time should you spend practicing daily. There is a lot of theories, a lot of things that people are saying, all the opinions are different. In my personal opinion, I'm going to give you three tips, actually three things for you to think about when it comes to practice. So if you're ready, let's start. The first thing is to practice daily. It doesn't matter even if you practice 15 minutes or practice 20 minutes or 30 minutes. It's very important to practice every day. You should look at musicians. It doesn't matter if you play the piano and instrument as a professional sport players. So, for example, if you're a basketball player, you're going to train every day, at least a little, because if you don't train, you're going to drop and your performance is going to drop. The same thing goes with the music. If you don't practice daily, for example, an hour, an hour is maybe a great thing by every day. For me, you're going to, you know, your performance is going to drop because you don't play every day. So it's very important. The first thing is to practice every day. For me, I practice all days. Uh, I, uh, I don't play and I don't practice on Sundays. That's simply something I like to do. Every Sunday, I don't do anything. I'm just resting and doing whatever I want to do. All the other day, I'm practicing, not a lot, but I'm getting in shape and I'm doing the best thing I can. The second thing is quality of your practice. If you practice uh, an hour and you're practicing two hours, three hours, four hours, but you're not thinking about what you're doing, you're just playing some pieces and you're playing some music, you're going to be very slow and you're not going to make any progress because you're not thinking about it. But if you practice an hour, but you're thinking about what you're doing, you're going to improve incredible. So it's extremely important to practice and to play with your mind, not just with your fingers. Think about what you're doing. Don't do things you don't, you, you don't just, don't, don't just say, sit and play and play and play and play without thinking because you're going to spend a lot of time and you're going to get anywhere because piano and any other instrument are playing actually with your mind. You don't, your fingers just do what your mind is going to do. So the second thing, think about the quality of your practicing value of your time and play with your mind. The third and final thing for today is to know every day what you want to achieve. For example, if you want to play today, you want to practice today, give yourself a goal. For example, I'm going to read the first page of some piece. And when you finish that page, that's it for today. If you finish that page in 15 minutes, you're finished for today. You finished, you achieved your goal. It's a very good thing to have goal when you sit and practice because you have um, your mind set on something that is going to be faster, you're going to learn better and everything is going to be better even if you just or if you just sit and say let's I'm going to play piano. So set yourself a goal. You don't have to set yourself a big goals but set small goal, I don't know, two rows, three rows, one page, you know, sit, learn, be ready, be concentrated, play good, and you're going to be impressed with your results. This was everything I wanted to show you today. I hope you had fun. I surely did. So until next time, see you and stay tuned.